It's Wrestling Hero Figs Ultimate Edition. Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels. We're doing a dual review. You guys do want to pick these up? Hit the link in the description below. Discount code Hero is going to save you 10%. On the back of the packaging right here, we get a little bit of stats and a little bio as to when they wore these attires. For Beastie right here, we got him at six foot three from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Finisher, of course, the F5 right here. And there he is, coming down the rampway, storming down, bringing the action at the Rumble. And Shawn Michaels is taking flight. So on the actual image right here of him, we got him coming off the top turnbuckle. But right here on the figure itself, we got him with the signature pose, doing his little entrance at six foot one, San Antonio, Texas. He is the showstopper, the icon, the main event. So which one do you guys want to do first? We'll do Brock Lesnar first. It has been a while since we've gotten in an elite. I know we got a battle pack not too long ago, but that bell right there, we need to answer those questions. So I say we get these out. Here we go. The first thing that I want to talk about is this belt, the Universal Championship for Brock Lesnar. They've taken a little step back, but at the same time, a step forward. The step forward, obviously, is going to be the color of the strap. The darker red, it is more ideal to what we see on TV. This first initial release, it was a little bit too colorful for the people's liking. So what they did is they got that right. But the recent battle pack, here's the side plates. This is what I had in mind. One thing I wanted to do for sure to get it, this all corrected, like since they didn't go ahead and do the painting right here on the WWE logos for the side straps, I kind of wanted to get these plates swapped out. That way we can get the look, like the full-on universal title corrected. And I know that it's all different now, so I guess it really doesn't make all that much of a difference. But if you do want the Ultimate Edition belt, I think that'd be the best way to go about it. The interchangeable heads right here, we're going to get a screaming head scan right here, which is like, I just pinched one or I'm about to rip one or I'm going to go ahead and take, no, 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 this, this is the one. <laughs> you guys what are you guys seeing right there like the man he's got charts and he's probably had the runs for a good three days straight and this is the look right before he hits the toilet oh my gosh this one this is the f5 the man has just nailed you hardcore suplex city you name it this is the head skin that we're gonna uh inter you know what? i'm gonna interchange all three of them so you guys can get a good idea of what they all look like. Now, the one on the figure right there, this is kind of the plain Jane, what we have seen in the recent basic figure. And the interchangeable hands, we're getting two open hands, two slight open, and they all do have the Lesnar logo. And then we also got the cap right there. The ones that are on the figure are the close fist and the ones that are going to dominate this review right here. My personal favorites. Dead man's, yo, now there's another thing too that could be done. I don't believe we've gotten a full-on close fist for Taker, so I think... I think that's one thought that I had in mind that we could utilize right there. The shirt right here, we are getting fabric. So upgrades, upgrades all the way around for sure. Here's a quick side comparison because I feel like this is going to be the best comparison that we can do for the head scan. It is identical. The hair, it's a little bit darker. It's got a darker tint right here. But this one, yeah, it's like the exact same thing. I do believe they are all having the true FX. It is a little bit harder to tell when it comes to Brock Lesnar. So if you were curious, like, what are they doing with that? How come they're not taking that? I think they did. It's just hard to distinguish one from the other. Interchanging the parts, fairly simple. You pop that off. Here's the sharp one. <laughs> I'm going to call it. I'm going to stop calling that. I promise. But there it is. Here's the one he's fearing for his life. Maybe because he knows that his title run is coming to an end. Probably not. Most likely not. We all know that. Vinny over there, he's got a chubby. Just thinking about him holding on to that title for the next decade. Here's the other one. The F5. F5 connects. This his, this does have a similar resemblance to one of the first screaming ones. But it's definitely been upgraded prior to this. The shirt, it is the tank top mold. We got Suplex City up top. And then it's also welcoming you down here at the bottom. Now the city limit. That's what I want to know, you guys. What would be the city limit for Suplex City? I feel like just about every single superstar on the Raw brand has gone to that. So I'm just curious as to what the count is at this time. On the back, we got the Brock Lesnar logo. Or not the logo, but the tattoo. As well as on the shoulder piece. The thing that I got to talk about right here. You guys know that I have never been a personal fan of the ab crunch. Or just the look of how these Ultimate Editions have like going forward. But this one... This is kind of like turning a page on a brand new book. This is a brand new introduction for Brock Lesnar for the torso. And I got to say, you guys, I am a fan. I don't know if this would work for an earlier Lesnar. The man was more fit. He didn't have the side lats sagging down, kind of what you're seeing right here. But nonetheless, for the time being... 
I think this, this is definitely a perfect representation. Now, the biggest question, apart from the actual look of the torso, is the articulation. Because these are upgraded from prior elites. Articulation, ab crunch, we're getting just a slight more than what we normally do and quite a bit back. Double jointed elbows right here. This is the plus side of the Ultimate Editions. Not just for the elbows, but also for the rest of the figure. We are getting bicep swivel. There is still no butterfly joints. Something that's got to be brought up at some point. The shoulders do go about this far out again we're getting a full bend right there on the elbow i mean that's surpassing the 45 degrees wrist articulation these do pop off they go forward they go back they go all around full 360 waist swivel we're also getting upper thigh swivel right there legs do go far pretty out i mean you don't have to with lesnar but apparently they still went ahead and gave us a little extra legs go this far forward that far back double jointed elbows the calves right here this is awesome so not only are we getting double jointed knees but the calf rotation as well as toe articulation it is all right here the logos i mean it is going to be missing some because then they'd have to pay jimmy johns and all those other brands that he likes to put on the shorts but right here i do like this figure i gotta say it's a huge upgrade anything else that we've seen in the past i mean this did it for me for x amount of years but now ultimate edition brock lesnar and i do have some really good stuff in mind right here that i do want to try out with not just the gloves as we mentioned with taker so again man come join the note notification gang because it's a switch in the party boy right here Shawn michaels we got to do the song the sweet chin music not your boy toy. Bye, toy. you know i would not miss the opportunity to have the assless chaps right here in the video and have the song with it i'm assuming this is the front and then this is the back hero fix how can you tell because look at the cutouts right there you guys see that and we're gonna put them on this is a beautiful and a great thing to see here in this figure assless chaps They've only been released in solid rubber form. Posability obviously limited, but now with these ones. The entrance vest, they still kept this rubber or plastic, but that's all right because this one, I mean, it is supposed to be like a hard texture. It's not supposed to have the flexibility. I mean, you could still get all that because of the cutouts right here on the arm, so you're not going to hinder any of the shoulder articulation or the ab crunch because it's all cut up right there. And this is a nice, this is a very, very nice looking piece. The front piece, I'm assuming this is the back. And then right here, it's the front and the reason why I can tell is because right there we got the little strap that you can undo it and redo it to slip it on the chaps a lot of detail we're getting all the studs on the right side on the left side as well as the zipper coming all the way down you can actually see the zipper I'm gonna have to go back and check out some of the other fabric I feel like the baller might have had it but Having the zipper right there on the actual zipper line, that's a nice little thing that they've gone ahead and added. And then the waist piece right here, all the studs that we're seeing right here are carrying throughout. And the belt, look at this belt, you guys. We got belt straps, we got buttons, we got Michaels with open hands, closed fists, and slight open on the figure right here. The interchangeable he hands or heads for him, he's only getting two. So Brock Lesnar, he got three. So looks like Michaels is getting a little bit of a downgrade, but I think it's because of these right here. Fabric is always a little bit more expensive so we're getting the screaming one and then we're getting happy go lucky because whf is bringing the song to him yeah let's continue the song I'm just a sexy boy. All the celebration's got to be put to, to the side because right now we have to go ahead and put this together. We need to assemble it and see how that pose right here, how you're seeing on the side of the packaging, how it's going to come out the way that once you add all the little entrance gear to it. I know the chaps might give me a little bit of a hassle and work, but you know what? We got to do it here for you, man. I'm not going to go ahead and pause it and go ahead and come back to the video. No, I want you guys to see the level of degree. You know what? I might have to. <laughs> These toes or these boots right here, they are kind of, it looks like you kind of have to maneuver it around to get that all inserted. Do one at a time. I feel like one at a time is the best approach. You don't want to do two things at once. I mean, if you are a multitask kind of person, you might be able to go ahead and execute it like Hero Fix is doing a bunch of talking while he's putting it on there so he can still keep you entertained. Hero Fix, you're boring me, man. I'm sorry. We are too excited to have Michaels right here in this Ultimate Edition. The one guy, man, I'm telling you, you rank any superstar in WWE history and ultimate edition the figure that we needed was michaels he was top list on my book at least how do you guys feel about it? what characters do you guys still want to see in this wave i feel like there's still I, I think a hulkster you know when they start releasing hulk hogan figures i think him in the hollywood look that's just an idea and that's a thought and i know they already had it in the works for having a regular elite but give us ultimate edition hollywood okay there it is there's the chaps there's the straps there he is with all the posing options nothing can hit 
hinder that post. Nothing can hinder the Sweet Chin music. Beastie Boys already set up for it. Oh, Sweet Chin music by the Heartbreak Kid. Dude, what's up? Look at this, you guys. This is awesome. I want to give you the other head scan. I want you guys to get a good idea of what the other one will look like, assuming this one doesn't fight me to get it off. It looks like for Michaels, we might have to do a little bit of modification to get that Dremel work all corrected. This one right here, the screaming, this is the sweet chin face, man. The other one is like, prior to the match, like, I think I might win, I think I might lose, but this one is a guarantee that he just nailed you hard right there into next week. Dude, yes, which one do I like better? Hmm, I gotta go with this one. This has gotta be one of my personal favorites. I do want to bring this one up to the frame because this is the most recent one this is from series 100 this one i guess the best one that you could compare to is the happy one so these are all different scans so you know nothing about this i mean the the sculpt on the hair piece the way that it has been cut out on this one as well as that one it is sharing the exact same thing from series 100 but the true print is not so the screaming one i do like the tongue i like the teeth i like all that that we're getting with this figure i want to cover the articulation for michaels i know shinsuke nakamura i mean there's a you know a couple of other ultimate edition figures that did have smaller torsos for michaels right here I, I am going to call it a safe approach. I don't know how difficult it will be to take off. It was pretty hard to take them off. So let's see, or to put them on, let's see how hard it is to take them off. Oh, they slip off a lot easier, man. They're assless chaps. They're supposed to come off a lot easier. Ab crunch right here. This one goes not all that much. This one is definitely limited as opposed to the Brock Lesnar one. It does go a little bit far back. Shoulders go about this far out. Yes, they stop about right there. We're getting bicep swivel right here. We're getting a full double hinged on the elbow wrist articulation we're getting waist swivel we're also getting upper thigh cut right there the legs go pretty this is actually surpassing of what brock lesnar was doing and rightfully so after all he is the heartbreak kid right for that for the knees right here we're getting double jointed knees we're also getting the calf rotation right here as well as ankle pivot and toe articulation all right so my overall thoughts on these you guys here's the thing all right for Brock Lesnar, I do, I am, you guys know, man, this, these torsos, yeah, I still, I prefer the regular elite wave when it comes to the, the look, articulation as well, which, you know, these are always a drawback when it comes to the ab crunch, but I think for Brock Lesnar, I'm giving him a clear 10.2, he's actually surpassing the 10 marker, and that's because just the, oh, the likeness on all three of the interchangeable uh, hands, the belt was a slight downgrade, but I really can't take any notches away, because we already got some plants and some ideas behind it the fabric shirt i think that's a pretty safe right there I mean, that's a pretty good ranking lesnar if, if you're not happy with that man yeah, you're gonna have to take me to suplex city Shawn michaels i'm gonna give him to a solid 10 my friends regardless of how i feel about the torso these chaps i think it's the chaps that's what's really doing it for me my friends this is a really nice piece all the hearts right here i mean we're getting heartbreak on the back all the hearts are located properly as to what they he how he has it it. the knee pads right there they didn't just give us the solid black knee pads they give us the little extra by getting the red all up in there the kick pads right here everything all the paint apps they are they've all been properly taken care of on like from bottom all the way working its way up to the top knee pads too even though it's got the hearts on the knee pads it actually does have them on there right underneath the tight design so we're not losing any details with it and then right here the hearts they're everywhere man it's the heartbreak kid it wouldn't be right if he was missing some of them but yes i feel pretty firm and to tell you that these ultimate editions this wave like all, all of them have been pretty good but i feel like this one it's standing out just a slight because of Shawn michaels top priority and brock lesnar some things that needed to be changed because the same figure over and over again you can only you know yeah i mean yes it's like almost the same like paint deco but when it comes to the extras and all the options that you got with them hey that's a huge thumbs up matter of fact that's two thumbs up i want to thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and and we'll see you on the next one.